Hi everybody, this is Ms. Sheen and Ms. Padmini and with the admirable help of Mr. Steven and this is your teachable moment. Uh, we have here our table of fractions. Can you say fraction? And we have all of our fractions from one half to one third to one fourth to one fifth, one sixth, one eighth, one tenth, and one twelfth. And we're going to build one from you using these fractions. So let's take a one half and put it next to the one. And the question to you is, how can you make one without using another one half? So we're not using the other one half. How will we make a one? So we could try putting a one third there in place. And we still have room. So one half plus one third is still less than one. Can we put a one fourth? That looks a little too big. That's too big. That's more than one. Let's try a one fifth. Oh, still too big. So now let's try a one sixth. One sixth plus one third plus one half is the same as one. Or one half plus one third plus one sixth equals one. Great job, guys. Let's see what equals one half. Let's put down our one half. Um, we can put away our other pieces, our one sixth and our one third and our one half. And let's see what will make a one half. Of course, the other one half would be one half. However, we're not going to use that. Let's try something. Pick any piece that you want to and see what you could put together with it to make one half. What if you start with a one fourth? So you start with a one fourth, then one thing you can check is. We don't really want to do this for our real solution, but just for fun. What if you put another one fourth? I know it's the same color, but just so you can see, two fourths is the same as one half. Two of the fourths is the same as one out of the two, right? So one fourth plus one fourth equals one half. Let's put away the fourth, though. We want a different color. So what shall we use? Shall we try a one-fifth? We can try a one-fifth. One-fifth, and there's a little space left. Do we have a, a piece that's that small? We can try the one-twelfth. Oops, too big. So I think the one-fifth and the one-twelfth have to go. One-twelfth goes back. The one-fifth goes back. Let's try the one-sixth. One six leaves a little room, and we can try the one twelfth. That's the smallest piece we have. Is that working? Ah, looks like it's working. Looks like one fourth plus one sixth plus one twelfth is the same as one half. Good job. Now, Let's take the one-fourth and see what makes the one-fourth because you remember we said that the two of the one-fourths would make the one-half. So let's see what makes the one-fourth. Let's try the two pieces we had earlier, the one-sixth and the one-twelfth. And sure enough, one sixth plus one twelfth is one fourth. Let's put away the one twelfth and the one sixth and see how else we could make one fourth. Could we try the one eighth? If we put the one eighth in there, what other piece could we put? The one tenth is smaller, as we know, because that's if you divide something into ten pieces and take one of them. You can try putting it there, but I think it's going to be a little too small, and there's no piece that fits right there. Sorry, one twelfth goes back. How 
how about the one twelfth? Uh, I'm sorry, the one tenth goes back. Let's try the one twelfth. Same issue, small space. We have no little piece that's that small. One twelfth goes back. I think maybe we have to just use another one eighth. Two eighths makes one fourth. Two eighths equals one fourth. So we saw earlier two fourths is one half. Now we know two eighths is one fourth. Okay, let's put the one eighth and the one fourth back. And I am wondering how many ways we can make one half if we allow repeats. Let's go ahead and allow repeats. So you have two fourths. Okay, let's put two fourths. One fourth and two fourths. Two fourths makes one half. Let's try it with the sixths. Let's take one sixth, two sixths, and three sixths. Three sixths makes one half. Awesome. Let's try it with the eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, and four eighths. Four eighths makes one half. Shall we try the tenths? Let's try the tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, and Five tenths. Five tenths makes one half. Shall we try our twelfths? Let's try our twelfths. One twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, and six twelfths. Six twelfths makes one half. So, one half is the same as two fourths. One two fourths is the same as one half. Three sixes. Three sixths. Four eighths. Five tenths. And six twelfths makes one half. Awesome. You notice we didn't use the one-third and the one-fifth. If I took one-third, it would be too small. If I took two-thirds, it would be too big. If I took one-fifth or two-fifths, it would be too small. If I took another fifth, it would be too big. Notice that three, one, three and five are both odd numbers, and there's not a integer that makes half of three or half of five but four is even and you can take a half of four you get two two fourths six is even half of six is three three sixths four eighths five tenths and six twelfths are all equal to one half thank you very much everybody this is Ms. Ching and miss padmini with the admirable help of mr stephen and that was your teachable moment